All right, so I made it here. I'm at uh, the Brandywine Fall, which is a lot more of a traditional wa waterfall, like um, the stand to it. Or what people imagine to be a waterfall, I believe. <laughs> and what the other one was. Um, at least around here, there's a lot of these ones compared to like the, the, the just falling off a rock, going down midair, and then falling. These ones normally just roll down the slate. Check it out. It, I, like the video really doesn't do it justice, but I can't really see what you're looking at. There we go. But it goes down into like this little grotto area. Into the grotto area, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, and it wraps around, and then it just pretty much goes into a little creek. Um, we used to climb up this thing as a kid. Actually, not as a kid. I still do it. I'm not going to do it right now because it's freaking cold. Uh, but now I'm standing on top of the waterfall. You can see. This stuff's pretty safe. Wouldn't go over there, obviously. What I was standing on to show you what everything, um, what I was standing on was this thing right here, which is an overhang, a whole bunch of roots, some pretty cool stuff over there, um, which wasn't too smart to stand on, but it hasn't gone anywhere in years, and I kind of just took the risk, I guess. I hope you can even hear me over the fall, but, um, so, first time we met, we swung on the rope swing, which is right down the way, and uh, then we came up here and climbed up the waterfall. I don't know if you can even see what I'm hanging out in, right now, but it's pretty cool. Give you a wider view. But, um, so we climbed up the waterfall, and, uh, and we hung out, <laughs> and then like the next week we went on our first date, which wasn't really a date. It was more of she had indoor soccer, an uh, indoor soccer match, and I came and watched her, and we hung out a little bit. But I've always considered this to be our first date, even though there's tons of people there. Um, I love this place. I come here all the time. A whole bunch of just shale rock. And it's really, really soothing because if you can see the little driplets, a lot, like right there, they're just falling down off the moss and off of the, which is a shit ton of moss right there, off the moss and into the lake, a river, lake. Um, yeah, I don't usually stay here too long just because of fear of rolling rocks coming down and hitting me, and impaling me in the face. Um, come close a few times, I'm not going to share those with you, but, and again, the falls, I think this is the Brandywine Falls, I think that's what they call it, I'm not really sure, I don't really care, I just know it's a waterfall, and it's beautiful, and I love it, I'm just going to walk up the easy way, so I don't have to climb back up, but, very popular area though, there's um, another waterfall that's a little bit less known that I like to go to more, but it's a lot more secluded and harder to get to. This one only took me like 15 minutes to get to. But I'm pretty excited about this. I love this girl. And I think I do believe she loves me quite a bit. And I'm excited to do this. I just don't know how to approach it so she doesn't get wind of what I'm doing. Like I do this stuff by myself all the time. But I don't necessarily bring her along with me. Just because we were really busy. We were on different schedules for the most part. Usually when we hang out, we go out. Out. Oh, that's beautiful. Take a look at this, if you can. Oh, she just sent me. Shit, that was a cold ride. She just went on uh, her last uh, bike ride of the season. So check this out. See if I can get it adjusted. There's a little, all those mosses just kind of sprouting up like little trees. I think that's awesome. Here's a uh, side shot of the falls. Oh, 
stuff and it's awesome. It comes down into there, foamy stuff. My dad used to tell me that that was whale spit. And I believed it for a really long time, not thinking that, you know, there are no whales around here. But I did. And then the falls comes down through there and into the grotto thing and through the, down to the river. And the rope swing is like right over there. You can't see it. So people that say it's boring in Ohio, I believe otherwise. Yes, there's a lot of shitty cities, but the national parks are pretty awesome. If you like climbing, there's a lot of boulders. Not in this area. Well, it's mostly just shale around here. But if you go like 25 miles southwest-ish, maybe less than 25 miles, there's a few national parks out there with huge boulders. But um, thanks for watching. If anybody sees this and has an idea of how to approach the idea of bringing her here, like I think I'm just gonna be like, hey, I have this tradition that I do every year, and I want to know if you want to come with me. Because I do come out here every year, and like around the first snowfall, because that's when it's like most quietest. Um, there's a lot of ice, which is really cool to look at. And I used to take pictures, so I used to take pictures of that. But I don't do that really anymore. But I, I still come out just to look. Um, but uh, yeah, if anybody has any other ideas? I don't know. Right now, I think that's just what I'm gonna do. Be like, hey, I'd really like to share this with you. This something that I do every year. If you want to go with me, and then we'll go. Oh, I shouldn't leave my knife there. Oh, do you want to see it? You might want to see it. So the tree that I carved it in, which is right back here where we were at the waterfall. And I actually used it to jump down the tree, to jump down. But, uh, here's the tree. It's a tree! That's the same one, yep. That is the tree. Um, which I've noticed a few people have gotten the same idea as me lately. You can tell because these are old, these are new. This tree, when I first carved it, there was two carvings in it. And then I carved mine. Uh, since I've been gone, there's been like eight new carvings, which kind of makes it trashy. I didn't want that, but I just kind of wanted something special. I like nature, so I thought it would be a good idea. But anyways, I'm, I'm rambling. Let's see if you can see it. Ames, will you marry me? And I was freaked out at first uh, when I was writing it. Like, I, I'm, a good, I'm not a good speller, but I'm, I love writing. So, I didn't want to like mess up a l like anything at all because this is like kind of permanent um, until you know the tree falls and decays. But um, I wanted to make sure I got it right. And I was freaking out, and I'm like, it's always with those theirs, theirs, and theirs. Like I get the theirs, theirs, and theirs, but I'm like Mary and Mary. Oh my God! And I'm like, okay, Merry Christmas. How do you do Merry Christmas? Is it an E? Yeah, it's an E. No, it's an A. No, it's an E. And I freaked out, and these people came across. And I asked them, I'm like, okay, I'm having a spaz attack. How do you spell Mary? Like, marry me. Is it M-A or M-E? And then they looked at me, and they're like, you should know that, and then walked off. And I'm like, what the fuck? But I, I know what it is now. I spelled it right. Um, I didn't have my phone on me, or else I would have probably Googled it. But I did Google it this time just to make sure, because I kind of spazzed out a little bit. I panic about stupid shit a lot. But um, there's the marry me. I got like 50 seconds or 40 seconds left, so I'm going to get going. But, um, thanks for watching. Um, I might do some more outdoorsy videos. I kind of liked this. Um, it was nice. I'm kind of just hanging out by the waterfall. My plan is to sit her down right here. Right now, sit her down right here. I'll sit right here. And then I'll be like, oh, what is this? It's all covered in snow. And then hopefully, like, I might make it deeper. It kind of looks not good. It's very on the few layers so anyways five seconds okay thank you for watching have a great day bye